What's up you guys? It's your girl Case Based back with another video. I got a new phone so I don't know if I'm looking with the right camera. Whatever, it's fine. I could have recorded this on my camera but I just really didn't have the energy to. I don't know why. Like it's charged and everything but I just didn't want to get on it if I'm honest. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. Um, I will be back in March. Alright, so here I'm taking my primer. It's the Pore Professional one. I'm going to go around my entire face with little dots and then just blend this in. I'm not really one of those people that uses primer a lot because I feel like it doesn't really make a difference, but for a YouTube tutorial, why the heck not? Alright, and if you watched my previous makeup tutorial, I'm using the same foundation, Born This Way Vanilla. It's my favorite one. Um, yeah, I'm just using a beauty blender to apply the foundation to my face. All right, and after you go in with foundation, you then grab your, oh my gosh, my voice. <clears throat> Anyways, I am using the Derma Blend setting powder. This just kind of helps set the foundation into your skin. All right, and then I'm grabbing my Max Fix Plus. Um, it's kind of just a spray, almost like water. And it just kind of helps set in the powder to the foundation to your face. Yeah, it's complicated. And then I am grabbing my bronzer. Um, it is destroyed, which is the worst feeling as a girl. <laughs> I am the worst at contouring. I don't even know why I try. I need to get better at it. But I go around my face, the sides of my nose, and right under my cheekbones. I spend a lot of time on my nose because my nose is crooked. I've literally never broken my nose before and it's crooked and I don't know why and it drives me insane. Here I am taking my baby love blush and I'm using this on my cheekbones. I know some people don't like blush, but I use it, so yeah. All right, and after blush, I grab my highlight, which is the Liquid Glow by Anastasia in the shade Perla. You do not need a lot. Um, a little dot goes a long way, as you'll be able to see. I just use it on my cheekbones, my nose, and my cupid's bow. This is also just like an extra little step if you want to go out of your way and do the same thing I do. Um, I couldn't figure out the name, so I held it up, so sorry if you might have to screenshot it. It's just like a cheap highlight from e.l.f. And it's a powder version, so I go over my liquid version and I feel like it just kind of helps both of them stay on longer. This is my favorite palette at the moment. It's the Jaclyn Hill one. It has so many pretty colors. Um, so just with whatever little brush you have, go in with one of these two colors I point to. They look exactly the same to me. Um, yeah, go into the inner corners of your eyes under your brow kind of where the arch is at and I go kind of all across my lid too, but you don't have to if you don't want to All right, and then with this pink sparkly color on the palette we are going to go over the eyeshadow and kind of just blend this from the edges um, in At this part, I just started filling my eyebrows in um, because I forgot. Um, shout out to Lily, she microbladed them a few weeks ago. There was just a few places that I wanted to make darker. And with the tiniest brush you can find, we are going to go in with this color into the crease and a few other places. And with this reddish brown color, you are going to go right under your waterline, on your waterline, um, and then also right where you would put your eyeliner on your eyelid. I was trying to open a new eyeliner and the struggle was real, let me just tell you. Um, a lot of my friends say they struggle with eyeliner, and don't get me wrong, I have my days too. Um, but tons of them ask me how I do it, so I kind of wanted to show this whole process and explain it to you guys. So 
So starting at the inner corner of my eye, I like going halfway across my lid and then dipping my pen into more eyeliner. And then from this, you kind of just follow it through to where the edge of your eyelash ends and to where your eyebrow is. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of angling it upwards. And then kind of following this down to create the perfect cat wing. Yeah. And here are my wings. You don't have to go as extreme with yours. <laughs> So I kind of wanted to darken up my look because Valentine's Day is supposed to be sexy, right? Yeah, so I'm grabbing this brown and I'm going to the crease and blending this out. And grabbing the same dark red brownish color from before, I'm just going across the middle part of my lid with this. Sorry for all the repetitiveness, this part I'm just going to go over my eyeliner again because once you put eyeshadow over your eyeliner, it doesn't make it look as bold. So with my favorite mascara, the Better Than Sex mascara, I'm just going to go over my eyelashes a lot and make them as dark as I possibly can. So I was going to go with the lipstick color I have on now, but then I saw red and I was like, ooh, red, Valentine's Day, duh. And I'm using MAC in the color Chili because it's muy caliente. Eh, I know Spanish sometimes. Let your hair down and go have a blast. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I'll be single AF. <laughs>